In writing the book, World Class Communication, and in numerous columns and articles, I focused heavily on CEO communication. And some people ask why, since most of us will never be the CEO of a big corporation. It's because successful leaders are the best models for anyone who would presume to lead. CEOs have to convince and motivate a lot of people to get to the top and succeed there. They face more communication challenges and higher stakes than the rest of us, and with much greater visibility. In the foreword she wrote for the book, Irene Rosenfeld put it this way, As the face of my company, my words are carefully scrutinized every time I speak, and they often live in perpetuity in cyberspace. But it's not only what I say that matters, it's also how I say it. A hesitation, the wrong tone, or even an unconscious gesture on my part can affect our stock price. Think about that. That's high pressure communication. Many of us have the same challenges as CEOs, even if on a smaller scale. Motivating employees and colleagues, selling a program or idea, creating the right image for a product or brand, and perhaps most important, making people believe in us and what we're doing. As Irene indicated, leadership communication is about more than words. It's also about demeanor, pleasant and approachable, or cold and distant. And very often it's about what is not said. The CEO graveyard is littered with people whose careless words led to early, unplanned retirement. Another factor is the image a leader projects. Is it one of calm, reason, willingness to listen, careful analysis, and rational action? Or does it reflect a top-down dictatorial style that creates fear and resentment, and thus fails to persuade or motivate? I've asked CEOs of many large corporations about the most important qualifications for success on the job, and every one of them mentioned humility. But remember, humility's essential companion is sincerity. So here are some tips from the successful CEO's communication playbook. Use straight talk, simple, direct, unambiguous language. Plan carefully what you're going to say and what you're not going to say. Have a vision and communicate it clearly. Project humility with sincerity. Be known as someone who listens and seeks input and treat everyone with respect. That last one may be the most important of all.